brand new M. Night Shyamalan movie. What a twit! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so this is his brand new movie starring Josh Hartnett called Trap. So let's check this shit out. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Time at you. No dad jokes. This is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, Lady Raven. This is slap dad. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Jamie, what's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. <laughs> Something happening? Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. They're watching all the exits, checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. that he was going to be the butcher i had i just had a feeling and i was just about to fucking say that too like he's the butcher i'm sorry really what was that Kind of dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple questions. One, the FBI is in uh, um, in PD. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, I have to think about this because Okay, first off, if they didn't know what the butcher looked like, why the fuck would they uh, lock down the whole thing? Second of all, how would they know that the butcher was going to be at that particular fucking uh, concert? Like, how? Like, how would they have known that? And I hope that's answered in the movie. Because how the fuck would they have known that he was going to be at that specific concert? Three, just by the... the the victim that's locked up in his fucking basement does not fit the victim and the victimology of what of the people that are around. You know, he's not going after young girls. He's not going after teens. He's not going after women. It looked like he went after like men, middle aged men. I mean, yeah, you can go and take off like you know have your pick of fucking dads and shit at the concert or whatnot, but still, that's still kind of a stretch because. That does not line up. At least in for me, like it doesn't like. Yeah, if it was like a girl tied up in the basement, then yeah, that would have made much more sense because that pop actress, that that pop singer, would have brought out a drove of victims for him. But it was a man. You know, that, see, that does not seem like one of those. So, I, I don't know. Also, like, why would he be stressed out, honestly, also? 
If they don't have no ID, they don't know what he looks like, why would he be stressed out? Unless there's some evidence that we, again, unless there's some evidence that we don't know. I don't know. And why the fuck would this motherfucker know that? Like, why would he know? Why would he know? Of all fucking people, why would the fucking merchant know that? I mean, come on, dude. Ugh. I mean, this is an interesting premise. This is actually this actually looks fucking good. There's just some questions that I have, man, that that really need to be answered in this movie in order for this movie to fly, honestly. But yeah, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, this does look dope. I can't wait for August, but yeah, man, these, I'm gonna revisit this these questions when I watch this movie because I'm gonna have these in the back of my head. <laughs> 